So what a lot of people don't really know is that I actually used to be kind of addicted to lucid dreaming. You know, I'll be trying this stuff every night. I'll be trying different techniques, I'd be obsessed with the idea. I ended up basically trying every night and every day I would try and learn new techniques and methods and research. And ultimately it just led to confusion and difficulty. You know, it's quite difficult to continuously try and do something like that. It's not possible to lucid dream every single night for a long period of time. You can do it for a while. And I did that. You know, you can do it for a few days, maybe even a few weeks if you're lucky. And in some extremely rare cases, you can do it for a few months with a few like a few gaps here and there a few days off but long term it's not really sustainable and it's actually quite difficult to do that i see a lot of people trying to do omni lucidity and trying to get to the point where they can lucid dream every night but in my opinion it's not really worth doing and like i said i, became, I was obsessed with this stuff addicted to lucid dreaming and every day i would try and do it every single night every single day i would be learning and trying to figure this stuff out and ultimately i learned a lot about lucid dreaming in this way i don't really regret it as such but i just don't think it's necessary to try and lucid dream every night now there were some good things and there were some bad things about when i was addicted to lucid dreaming so the bad things were that there were lots of experiences that were kind of scary very unsettling very emotional and things that had an effect on me you know in waking life for example memory lapses like i would forget things i would confuse things that happened in dreams with things that happen in waking life specifically lucid dreams so i would have a lucid dream about doing something and when you can lucid dream easily you know when you can do it very easily and quickly what tends to happen is you get lazy so you just do it you end up lucid dreaming about just random stuff that doesn't really need to be done you know just dreaming about having conversations walking through town mundane stuff and then so what happened obviously is because this stuff was so similar to waking life situations that and you know i was traveling a lot of the time so i would dream about the places i was traveling to you end up confusing lucid dream memories with real life memories and especially conversations <laughs> things where you you are so sure that you've had this conversation but it's actually it was just a dream so that's one danger whereas compare that on the other hand to somebody who lucid dreams maybe once or twice a month and in those times they, they have these profound space travel alien dimension type of experiences it's very hard to confuse those with waking life experiences and so it becomes easier to tell the difference when you're lucid dreaming all the time or you know like i was when you're addicted to it very hard you know the lines start to get blurred and you end up confusing yourself can get very very tricky not to mention the fact that you'll end up having random scary nightmares lucid nightmares bad experiences and that kind of stuff false awakening loops all of this when in my opinion i think it should be done more sparingly you know more deliberately where instead of trying to lucid dream every night instead of that try and do it less often but make those times where you do do it more spont more um profound and more meaningful just like for example psychedelics and things like that you don't want to try this stuff every day for the experiences to really be special they have to be rare and important now that being said i did have some incredible experiences you know especially during the time when i was addicted to lucid dreaming really incredible experiences but i don't think you should try and do it every night so i think balance is absolutely key you need to be balanced and the times when you do lucid dream need to be special they need to be you need to try at least to do something meaningful and not just randomly walk around sleeping with people or flying i mean that stuff is exciting don't get me wrong but it's not as far as you can go with lucid dreaming and to be honest yeah when i was kind of addicted to lucid dreaming it did take some of the specialness out of it it was it's more special when it's more rare and each experience is more meaningful because it's less common the more common something becomes, the more you get used to it and it becomes less special. So uh, yeah, you can have too much of a good thing in this case. And another thing about, you know, being addicted to lucid dreaming is that what tends to happen is when you become obsessed with something, you really want it to work. And so with lucid dreaming, for example, you become obsessed with the idea of trying to make it work. And then what ends up happening is you put all this pressure on yourself and it becomes more difficult anyway, it becomes harder. So ironically, if you just kind of don't become obsessed or addicted to it, then it will actually become easier which will actually mean the experiences are more meaningful. So you kind of win in all situations with that. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments.